Hello everyone! My name is Explorer Writer Mikasa and my story begins on a bright morning when I meet this. Why don't I draw the story for you? Oh Mikasa! Hmm? Is that you? No, that's my shadow. <laughs> well, well, I brought you a message. Oh, really? From whom? You will know for yourself. Oh, wait, Kevin, tell me from whom. Bye bye. You can't believe my happiness with this letter. It was an invitation from IAEA to document their work in a written text. And I published it in my electronic newspaper. So, I speed off. I arrived at the airport to start my great trip and I saw a village whose crops died from beasts and its people migrated to the neat pouring cities and now the company is working to treat these beasts using nuclear technology and in the end they are close to success in the village to return. Me? I was wandering in the jungle. I saw a little girl about to die. My heart fell to the ground when I saw her. I came a little closer to see what's in here. Sorry, my daughter. When you grow up, your hair will be like mine. Don't worry. The girl is fine because she was well taken care of. She was suffering from severe malnutrition, orphaned parents, and was unable to obtain good food as a result of bad crops. The girl touched the bottom of my heart as if she was my real daughter. But it's time to say goodbye after her relatives have been acquired. I hope they take care of her. Dry your hair. <laughs> Take care of you, Emilia. The second goal of the Sustainable Development Goals has always been one of the most important social issues, which is the complete eradication of hunger, or rather for security. And directly, I can say that after what I went through, I realized that nuclear techniques are not for destruction and demolition, but rather for repair and construction. After I saw the innocent Emilia escape from death and that barren village came back to life, I realized that we could really eradicate hunger and starvation. Irradiation that might extreme the lifespan of living organism can extend the life of food as there are no less than 60 of food irradiation facilities in the world and there are 11 facilities in the Vietnam they government export from Vietnam with a value of 20 million dollars in one the United States According to UNICEF, one out of every three children suffer from malnutrition in the world where in 1918 there were about 277 million children suffering from malnutrition and 314 million suffer from lack of food. Hidden hunger can be eradicated by using stable ice top techniques in assessing micronators' ability and by food fortification and sublimate production. We can conserve the soil and purify plants and crumbs for peace through nuclear systems and techniques. So, hand in hand, let's raise our large atoms for peace. But if hope exists in the mind of one nation, that hope should be shared by all. <laughs>